All right, folks, today we have an awesome update on the shiny sandwiches using Herba Mysticas in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This is completely game-changing in how often you can make these sandwiches, how easy it is to do, which leads to how easy it is to get your shiny Pokemon. So huge shout-out to Asher Eclipse and my server for alerting me to this and sending me this image. Um, this basically goes through all the ingredients for every type of sparkling power in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So uh, to break it all down for those that are new to shiny hunting in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, using the Picnic feature, you can make sandwiches and you get different effects on these sandwiches the best effect is encounter power for a specific type and a sparkling power for a specific type before it was thought that you had to use a specific herba mystica to get the specific power but now using these new recipes you can actually use any of the five herba mysticas that you get from the five star raids and you can get the sparkling power that you want basically meaning these sandwiches are much much easier to make because getting the the Herba Mysticas was actually pretty hard. You know, it was it's a pretty rare drop from raids. And a lot of the time I would get bitter Herba Mysticas and I thought, oh, well, these are basically useless. No, they actually work just as well as any other. So um, what you need to do, step one, if you'd have no Herba Mysticas, is do five star raids. If you can't do five star raids and that's the glowing crystals on the map, you need to beat the game. Uh, you need to roll credits that includes beating area zero. That includes doing all three storylines. Finish the game. Then five star raids will start to appear. Grind out those to get as many Herba Mysticas as you can. I don't know the exact percentage chance of that dropping, but um, it, they, they drop every once in a while. They're probably the least common drop out of 5-star raids in my experience. The next thing you're going to want to do is load up on every other ingredient. Um, I went to Kaskarafa, the water town, um, and go to Shurkans and the deli stores. I mean, these are all over the map. And just load up on every ingredient, basically. I bought, like, 50 of each. Um, if you are post-game at this point, you probably have a lot of money. If you're doing a lot of raids, you'll have a lot of nuggets and big pearls you can sell. So you should be good on money. Um, but the main ingredients you're going to want are tomatoes, onions, green peppers, and hamburgers for this uh, recipe, but then also there will be another ingredient that you'll need. From there, you just need to use this pretty simple uh, image guide here and uh, basically make the sandwich for the type that you're hunting for. Um, so, for example, in this video, I had a Gyarados mass outbreak. You can do it outside of mass outbreaks. It doesn't need to be a mass outbreak, but I use that for this example. So, I wanted to make a water sparkling power sandwich, which meant using a tomato, an onion, a green pepper, a hamburger, um, and then two cucumbers which I got at the Shurkan shop, I believe, and then also uh, two Herba Mysticas. And it can be any two. It can be two bitter Herba Mysticas. It can be one bitter, one spicy. It can be two spicy. It can be one salty, one sour. It can be one sweet and one sour. Like, it can literally be any combination of two Herba Mysticas, which we did not know until now. It completely changes how easy it is to do. I actually wasn't really... I hadn't really been using these sandwiches because they... They were kind of hard to get based on the recipes that we knew, but now knowing this, they are so much easier to get. Getting shinies is going to be even easier than ever now. Um, using this in Area Zero for Paradox Pokemon is going to make that way easier. And um, overall, this is like the surefire easiest method now. Um, it still requires some grinding with the 5-star raids, but overall, it's this is the way to go. And of course, this stacks with your shiny charm if you completed the Pokédex. It stacks with the 30 to 60 Pokémon you kill during a mass outbreak. Um, you can get your odds down to 1 in 512, basically, using this method, which is absolutely crazy. I found a shiny Gyarados and a shiny Buizel within the 30-minute timer. These sandwiches last for 30 minutes. Uh, I found two shinies in that time frame, uh, pretty casually trying. The Gyarados took like 5 minutes, and the Buizel took the rest of that 30 minutes. But um, yeah, I hope this video helped. Once again, shout-out to Astro Eclipse on the server for alerting me to this. I had not seen this. This is a crazy, crazy crazy change to the sandwich meta of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and I hope this helped you out. I hope this helps you get some shinies, and if it does, let me know down in the comments below what shinies you get. So, with that said, if you enjoyed the video, if you found it useful, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and following me on my social medias. That is all linked down in the description. Until next time, folks, happy hunting.